Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. President Draupadi Murmu says education is the cornerstone of inspiring talents in the fields of science, literature and social sciences. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says a teacher has the strength of positivity. Nagaland Gov- Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhi loads teachers for shouldering responsibility of creating human resources and contributing to the growth of the nation. And Chief Minister Nipirio says teachers have important role in making students responsible and contributing citizens of the society. Now the news in detail. President Draupadi Murmu has said that education in Matadang is the cornerstone of inspiring talents in the fields of science, literature and social sciences and the National Education Policy 2020 puts focus on this aspect. She said this while conferring the national awards to 45 selected teachers on the occasion of Teachers' Day in New Delhi today. The president said that the present age of knowledge economy is powered by research and innovation and teachers should encourage the development of curious minds. She said that teachers are the life force of Indian education, which is one of the great largest education systems in the world, imparting education to more than 26 crore students in more than 15 lakh schools by about 97 lakh teachers. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said that a teacher has the strength of positivity who always motivates the students to face challenges. He said this helps students to tackle every challenge. Interacting with the winners of National Teacher Awards 2022 at his residence in New Delhi, Modi said a true teacher motivates the students to dream to achieve what is unachievable. He said it is up to the teachers to mould the youth who will decide what India would look like in the Amrit Kal by 2047. Prime Minister said the national education policy is being uploaded throughout the world. Modi said India is moving in the right direction to strengthen its education ecosystem. He said the teachers have played a big role in formulating the national education policy. Modi stressed on the need not only to educate the students but also to transform their lives. He emphasised to help students to resolve their problems with an integrated approach. Prime Minister said India is now the fifth largest economy in the world, leaving behind UK, who ruled the country for 250 years. Nagaland Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhi has conveyed warm greetings to the teaching fraternity on the occasion of Teachers' Day. In a message, Governor Mukhi loaded teachers for shouldering the responsibility of creating human resources and contributing to the growth of the nation. He said today is an occasion to pay homage and recall the monumental role played by the teachers as nation builders. On the occasion, Governor Mukhi also appealed to all teachers to discharge their duties with a renewed sense of dedication and sincerity. He said the vision and mission of the teachers become all the more important in the backdrop of Azadika Amrit Mahotsav in the period of Amrit Kal. The governor opined that the teachers' role in moulding the students to take the lead in making India a Viswa Guru will be critical during this period. Mukhi also congratulated all the national award winners and appreciated their role for the qualitative improvement of rendering education, especially in view of the National Education Policy 2020. Twenty teachers from both government and private schools were conferred state-level teachers' award. The teachers received citation from Chief Minister Nipirio at a state-level Teachers' Day celebration held in Kohima today. Speaking on the occasion, Rio said teachers have an important role in making students responsible and contributing citizens of the society. Rio said school education department is one of the largest departments in the state with the second largest number of employees. He said with a large number of teachers, it is reaching out to the remotest part of the village as these students have no option of a private school. The chief minister said digital teachers' diary introduced for government teachers will show an improved performance for the teachers and the department. He also hoped that the launching of teachers' attendance monitoring system will address ill practice of proxy teachers and improve attendance of teachers. Rio also expressed concern 
that the performance of the government schools over the years have not come up to the expectation unlike private schools. Rio also emphasised on the need for the department to introspect and see how the government schools can match or better the performance of private schools. The chief minister, while acknowledging the problems faced by school departments, said the state government is working tirelessly towards addressing genuine issues such as strengthening teachers' recruitment process and training of teachers besides mainstreaming qualified eligible teachers recruited through open advertisements. On the occasion, top 50 meritorious students of HSLC examination 2021 and 2022 conducted by NBSC was conferred by Chief Ministers, conferred Chief Ministers Meritorious Students Fellowship. He also launched the Nagaland Reading Festival Digital Diary for Government Teachers and a Question a Day in collaboration with Education Initiatives. As a mark of honour to the teachers, September 6 have been declared holiday for all government and private schools in the state. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AI News, Kohima. Mimi Yoshu, head teacher of Government Middle School, Officers Hill, Kohima, is among the 45 recipients of the prestigious National Teachers Award 2022. She received the award from President Draupadi Murmu in New Delhi today. Mimi Yushu is a graduate teacher who has motivation built in her. Her incorrigible enthusiasm rubbed off on the community, resulting in building extra classrooms, beautification of the campus, enhancing school meal program, developing a kitchen garden, led to an inevitable increase in enrollment of students. 80% of our students are domestic helpers and hence she conducts classes after school hours to reduce dropout rate. Innovative teaching learning methods and helping children to learn vocations, turning bio-non-degradable plastic waste into baskets, floor mats, old clothes into pot holders and doormats and selling them to generate some income for the school are some innovative ideas of Mimi Yushu. Advisor for School Education K.T. Sukalu has lamented that there are many teachers in the state government schools who have not seen classrooms for years and have been keeping proxies. He said this today during the state-level Teachers' Day celebration held at Kohima. Sukalu said such teachers not only play a negative role but compromises future of students and generations of the state. The advisor informed that the department has started taking action against such teachers. Sugalo said it is a crime and an act of great moral failure. The advisor also reiterated that if there are teachers who do not want to serve, they should immediately resign rather than sacrificing future of students. In this, he appealed all deputy commissioners to take stern action and engage administrative officers for timely visit to schools as Longling DC had done. The Congress party is all set to have a direct dialogue and connect with people through its Parad Joto Yatra starting from September 7. The five-month-long Yatra will commence from Kanyakumari and culminate in Kashmir. Addressing media persons at Congress Pawan Gohima, All India Congress Committee AICC Secretary in Charge Nagalin, Ranajit Mukherjee, said with Parad Judo Yatra, the Congress is taking the next step to begin a direct dialogue with the people of India on issues confronting the country. He said the Yatra will cover 3,500 kilometres in 150 days and pass through 12 states and two union territories. Smaller Parajudo Yatras will be taken out in various states. The AICC secretary informed that former Congress Chief Rahul Gandhi will participate in the Yatra along with 118 volunteers selected from different parts of the states. Mukherjee further extended an open invitation to all to join in the Yatra. The AICC secretary said one can log in to the website www paradjutoyatra.in or social media handles for more information. And now 20 News, here are the main points again. 
President Draupadi Murmu says education is the cornerstone of inspiring balance in the fields of science, literature and social sciences. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says a teacher has the strength of positivity. Nagaland Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhe lauds teachers for shouldering responsibility of creating human resources and contributing to the growth of nation. And Chief Minister Nipirio says teachers have important role in making students responsible and contributing citizens of the society. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.